What's up everyone, Axel here of AxeTruth.com and this is where I cut through the bullshit and I told you so. Uh, we are in the midst of the, the longest running, <laughs> let me put this up here again so we can, uh, we are in the midst of the longest and saddest, most excruciating, excruciating and unsatisfying, I told you so, in history, in the history of the world. And that's the truth. Now, let's get into it. All video, sound, and music used during this broadcast falls under fair use. Fair use is allowed for the purpose of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe on copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. And I'm time to cut through the bullshit. I had to get my knife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a great day today. Well, you know, I'm, when I saw this <sighs> ruling, uh, by the New York Supreme Court. Let me just pull up the this, this pull up the uh, Daily Caller here. It says, uh, "Court order: A Staten Island Supreme Court judge ruled Tuesday that New York City cannot fire employees for not getting the vac getting vaccinated against COVID nineteen. <laughs> uh, everyone hates dealing a blow to the Democratic Mayor Eric Adams' pandemic policy." Let's just go to the clip. So my name's Chad Lavalia. I'm an attorney who gets to represent these fine men and women over here. Um, what just happened was the judge found that the city's vaccine mandate is unconstitutional, violates the separation of powers, found it to be arbitrary and capricious. Um, he found the commissioner's order mandating private and public employees to get vaccinated was arbitrary and capricious. And um, it's null and void, essentially. So we just defeated the vaccine mandate for every single city employee, not just sanitation, FDNY, NYPD, Department of Corrections, for all the brave men and women who have been our first responders and have been brave through all this, you're now free. And you should be able to go back to work. So my name's Chad. Hey, hey. I, so the vindication, the vindication, I did, a, I did, if you haven't checked out my vindication, I've done several vindicated live stream titles, I just did another one, vindicated once again, if you go on my website, axtruth.com, and you can go back all the way to March of 2020, and look at all my live streams from there forth, and you cannot, di you cannot dispute anything I've said incorrectly when it came to any of this. I'm not going to go into saying it out here because of the YouTube, screw, the screw tubes and how they act, but my work speaks for itself. I called it out for what it was, but I also told people who were employed, I said, hold out, do not quit your job, but to let them fire you, dismiss you, lay you off or whatever the case may be, because you will have a lawsuit and be able to, and be reinstated. Now, this ruling now let's get into it here um let's let me put that pull this up on the docket right here the actual court order right here and i'm gonna read the little last few lines right here of this court order right here let's just get into it it says terminated petitioners are hereby reinstated to full employment effective uh full employment status effective october 25th 2022 at 6 a.m the petitioners, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, petitioners are entitled to back pay in salary from the date of termination. <laughs> the petitioners are directed to submit a proposal judgment regarding back pay consistent with the decision on or before November 10th of 2022. 
uh, this constitutes the decision and order of the court. Now, uh, let's get into the real. Let's get into the real here. Um, yeah, let's get into the real here. See, I am vindicated once again because I did tell people to hold out and let the places, let these your, let your employers terminate you because once you go through the process and they find out, you know, you know, and then at, and based on what we do know, based on the CDC admission today, there's um, an admission about the whole Jim Jones jab and basically coming out and saying <laughs> the vaccinated people are no different from the unvaccinated people. They, they actually have stated that. You know, the sad part about this is this was mandated and now it's not. And now the unvaccinated are coming back to work and getting back pay, which they are entitled. They should get that. Now, as for the people who did take it, see, they're going to have a problem, another problem for the people who did take it to cut the state to keep their job. They're going to look at this and say, what? They're getting back pay and they're coming back to work after we were told that they were the dangerous people, that they were the people that should be exiled and not around everyone else because they're such a danger. That's what they told everybody. That's what was said about people who chose, to, hey, you know what? I don't need that. I don't think I need to be vaccinated for something that a, a, a virus that has a 99.97% survival rate. I have an immune system. I think I'll just take my chances and, and live my life. And you should be able to do that. And that's your choice. And that's not up for debate for anyone or anybody or anything to say anything to you about what you need to do to your body for your health. See, we have, we have caused, uh, uh, this, is, this has caused a shit storm of pain and division. Families are broken up behind this crap. People got beside themselves saying things to people about what they should do instead of minding their own business and doing what you need to do for you, boo. I have that same shit in my family. And they were wrong. And now we're vindicated. Once again, this ruling is very important because it's going to domino effect everywhere. Everybody who see everyone who has lost their job behind this gonna say, "Wait, what? Even if you're in a job that's not union, you can sue, and then they're gonna sue for mental distress, financial distress, financial um, uh, financial hardship that came because of this and the stress that they have been under." And then you have to think about those who did take it and the stress that they're going to be undergoing forward because everybody knows what is coming out about the ones who have taken it and the things that are happening. And they're living in constant fear and stress every day, wondering, is something going to happen to them? I'm speaking in ways to where I can get around the screw tubes uh, uh, bullshit, but we all know the deal. And they know the deal. And like the video that I put out uh, a week ago. What's sad about this whole thing is that people know what time it was and they know that they have been had. And instead of owning it and saying, you know what, now it's time to speak out and tell everyone else and wake people up. Instead of trying to pretend as if you don't see what, every, what we all are seeing every day. But I'm so glad that these workers are getting their back pay and they're starting getting their jobs back. I just pray for all the ones who went and got the Jim Jones jab that they be okay and nothing happens to them because they... You've been had bad. <laughs> They've been had bad. Put your comments below, share the video, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think about this uh, ruling in New York uh, with the city workers. I'm glad they're getting their jobs back and they're, and they're getting their back pay. If you want to support my work, you can donate to my cash app right here, or cash app dollar sign X truth, or click on the links below, go to my website and buy some of my merch. 
if you support my content. Until next time, you guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you on Thursday night for um, Power of the Living Word. But tonight I will be airing a live uh, a, a, a live stream around 10 p.m. about um, detran- detransitioning. This will be a very good, um, hopefully it will be a very good, uh, no, it will be a very good informative piece that I think will save lives. Good, have a good day, everyone. Yeah, yeah.